the News Channel 5 Network. This is Morning Line with Nick Barris. If you want, but... Good morning, everyone. <laughs> Thanks for joining us on Morning Line. Nick Barris here on a Thursday. Good show on tap for you. As you know, up on the Capitol, I, hey, they've got all kinds of legislation they're talking about. Some scratching your head, why are they bothering? Others, um, a good idea. Some controversial debates go about, and uh, we're going to talk about that on one. The, the issue at hand this morning, and, and we'll take your phone calls on it, what is natural marriage and whether or not the state lawmakers are going to take steps to place some restrictions on who can and cannot get married. Um, I want to say at the top of the show that um, you know we're going to do this over two different programs. This morning we're going to have someone on who is going to talk um, against the piece of legislation that's being suggested. Then we're going to have Representative Mark Pody, who is one of the sponsors of this legislation, to come on at a later date. So we have a full show for each of them. So just don't think we're only telling <laughs> one side of the story. But sometimes we like to do it this way so that we don't get into a debate. And it also so happened this morning that uh, Representative Pody couldn't make it at this early hour. But uh, that just fit in with our plan to do two entirely separate shows. But you're still invited, however you feel about the issue, to join in the conversation and call in and talk about it. With us this morning is attorney Abby Rubenfeld. Good morning to you, ma'am. Good morning. It's nice to have you on. Good morning. So you are an attorney and you are someone who knows the law and what we're talking about is the Tennessee Natural Marriage Defense Act. Okay, as I said, a bill by Senator Mark uh, Pody, a Republican from Lebanon, some other co-sponsors as well, basically states that the U.S. Supreme Court's 2015 decision to legalize same-sex marriage is void in Tennessee because the state has already passed its own law and constitutional amendment limiting marriage to one man and one woman. That's what it would do. Well, I'm one of the attorneys on that case. Mm -hmm. I went to the United States Supreme Court, and I think Representative Pody needs to read the Constitution and try to remember what he learned in civics class, since he's not an attorney, that we have a constitutional democracy. We have a system of federalism where the federal government is on top. Mm -hmm. The United States Constitution is what governs our law. An entire war was fought in this country about this ridiculous idea that a state can nullify um, a federal ruling of the Supreme Court. That was one of the issues in the United States, excuse me, in the Civil War in the United States, mm -hmm. the War of Northern Aggression, mm -hmm. sorry. <laughs> well, um, is that true then? So if, if, as you say, you know, the Supreme Court's ruled on this, if this were to pass, there obviously would be a legal challenge. I and can guarantee you well, there would be a legal challenge. Of course it would, under challenge. constitutional grounds, and be found to be unconstitutional. And so, I mean, I'm just saying, you can see why something like this, and there are people that will agree with this bill, and it, 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 who knows, it could pass, but it's kind of like a moot point, isn't it? Um, yes, and the state already had to pay us uh, more than a million dollars in attorney fees for litigating this for two years all the way to the United <laughs> States Supreme Court, and I guarantee you there'll be another lawsuit. I mean, we, we, we are supposed to be a country of laws. We we live under the rule of law. That's one of the beautiful things about the United States and about our Constitution is that we have a, a system of laws <coughs> that tells us exactly how we need to run things. And it's very clear under the Constitution that the federal government's supreme, the fe federal law is supreme. If that statute, if, if Tennessee, Tennessee's anti-marriage equality law was declared unconstitutional by the Supreme Court. Mm -hmm. The only way to fix that would be to amend the United States Constitution to allow discrimination and hopefully that is never going to happen. And that's based obviously on the interpretation by the Supreme Court right. which ruled on this as you and, said. And, one, and I'd add too that there are lots of rulings of the United States Supreme Court that I don't like. Mm -hmm. I don't like Citizens United. I don't mm -hmm. like a lot of their rulings. I think they should rule the death penalty unconstitutional. I think there's lots of things that people each one of us, everybody doesn't like about the Supreme Court, but we're stuck with it's it. It's the rule of law. I mean, otherwise, otherwise we have anarchy in this country. If, if that's the case, and, and you assume that some of the legal folks that work with these representatives proposing this legislation have told them as much, kind of what you're saying. I would think so. What do you think this is all about? Um, I think that Perhaps, I don't know Representative Pody, but perhaps these are deeply held religious beliefs, which I respect. He is so entitled to have those beliefs. And personally, I, you know, I would fight for his right to have whatever beliefs he wants, however discriminatory they are. But when he gets to the point where he's trying to impose those religious beliefs on the rest of us, 
then he crosses a constitutional line and you can't do that. Like in his religion, if they want to say they won't perform same sex marriages, that's fine. Again, mm -hmm. I would go to court for their right to do that. That's a religion and mm -hmm. they have the right to free exercise. But I also, and you, everybody else has the right for the government not to establish a religion. So. I think the basis of this is religious belief. I mean, otherwise, wh what does natural marriage mean? Mm -hmm. I mean, that's not a yeah. legal term. Is there also not a financial component here that the state could lose federal funding? Absolutely. Or something like, I mean, big money. <coughs> Absolutely. Millions mi or billions, nine, probably. Well, yeah. I mean, the bill previously estimated it could cost the state $9 billion. Um, I guess uh, when the General Assembly's Fiscal Review Committee analyzed the bill in 2017, it reported the Natural Marriage Defense Act because this isn't the first time it's come up, um, could result in roughly $9 billion in federal funding being withheld from the state. $7.1 billion in federal funding for 10 care could be in jeopardy, along with $2 billion more in funding for um, the Department of Human Services nutrition program. See, and that's one of the tragedies of this bill. And then you can tack onto that the attorney's fees. Well, though they're right. going to waste the time of the attorney general's office if the attorney general would even want to defend this law. Although I think there's language in there that says the it says state it would has require, to. <laughs> it would require the Tennessee attorney general to defend the state law on marriage in any subsequent court challenge, which obviously then they anticipate this. Um, and you think of all the categories that our state is at the bottom of the list, mm -hmm. you know, about education and so many issues, and this is what our legislature is going to focus on? We have so many problems. We need to work on infrastructure in the state. We need to do something about affordable housing for people. We need to create jobs. There's so much our legislature should focus on and not bother with stuff like this that's just blatantly unconstitutional. Yeah, I, I wonder sometimes, and again, as I've said, uh, we are going to have Representative Mark Pody on, but we're doing two separate programs on it, and we'll let him explain exactly, as we said, the motivation behind this. But um, in, in terms of, of, and we're not debating necessarily, and I know some of our callers may say whether they agree or disagree with same-sex marriages and the like, but since this has become legal constitutionally, what is your sense of how it's gone in the state of Tennessee for same-sex couples? I think it's exactly the same as non-same-sex couples mm -hmm. in terms of marriage. I'm a divorce lawyer primarily, mm -hmm. and I think there's a 50 percent divorce. It's, it's ironic to me that non-gay or non-same-sex couples made this huge big deal because there's a 50 percent divorce rate. It's not like non-gay people have done such a great job protecting oh, yeah, marriage. Human. We're talking about humans here exactly. and sometimes they don't stay and, together. And we're the same. Gay people are the same as straight people in terms of marriage. Some relationships work, some don't. Sometimes you get together too soon. Mm -hmm. All the same reason. People have affairs. It's all the same. People are people, as you said. So I haven't seen any problems here. In fact, I thought the day of the decision, I uh, listened to the results in the back of the courtroom, in a jury room, in the in divorce court in mm -hmm. Davidson County, and I wanted to go in and say, you're welcome to all the divorce lawyers in there, because it was going to increase the number of divorces we mm -hmm. all going to do. Right. That's <laughs> more marriages, that. more sure. divorces. All right, let's take a few phone calls. The, the line's open, 737-7587. Again, it's the mm -hmm. Tennessee Natural Marriage Defense Act, and um, it gets to the heart of, you know, what is a natural marriage, if you can find a definition of what that may be, but people have different ideas, the traditional or some of how things have evolved. Um, let's see what uh, Joe says. Uh, start off with him on line one. Good morning, Joe. Good morning, Nick. Hey. Uh, just a brief comment. Sure. You and your guests. Uh, We've got a, a real problem, it seems like, between uh, the Constitution being uh, observed and state legislators making their own laws. I'm really confused about what can and can't be done. Uh, I, I, and that's uh, from what I heard so far from your guest, that's basically what's happening. Uh, Tennessee legislators trying to change a law that that uh, is a federal law. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't understand. I mean, we, we seem like we're getting more divided all the time about this bill. That's all I got to say. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I actually ag agree with, with him. I think we're all getting further and further apart, and we don't need to. I mean, mm -hmm. the the issue here, I mean, I, I think he, he summed it up. It's a state trying to overturn 
what the United States Supreme Court did, and mm -hmm. they can't do that. I mean, in our country, based on our Constitution, going back to, you know, the night, the, like 1803, Marbury versus Madison, mm -hmm. like the Supreme Court is the final say. They determine if laws are constitutional or not, and a state can't, can't change that. If, if you want to change a ruling based on the United States Constitution, you have to amend the Constitution, and I don't think that's going to happen about marriage. And I would also just say that people who don't, who think that same-sex marriage is a sin or they don't believe in it, whatever that means, um, they don't have to engage in it. Mm -hmm. You know, like nobody's saying they have to marry a same-sex partner. It's just saying that other people have the right to do that, just as they have the right to marry someone of the opposite sex. Gotcha. Listen, we'll take a break on that note. Um, we'll take more phone calls. We'll get in more to this issue. 737-7587 is the, uh, the number if you want to join in. Uh, your thoughts on the Tennessee Natural Marriage Defense Act, what it would do, the legal challenges, the cost to the state, and why you are either for it or against it. We'll be back with your calls and more with our fine guests right after this.